Hi, I'm Dr. Bertie Sperry and I want to tell you a story. When I was young and my mother had to um, go to work or go anywhere, she would always say to us, don't have no wild parties in here while I'm gone. And we'd look at each other and think, we can't have wild parties here while you're here. We can't have a party here while you're here. We can't, we, we don't have anything to have a party with. <laughs> It truly became something that we would laugh about. Well, fast forward. When my children were young, if I had to leave town or even go to the grocery store, I'd say, don't be having no wild parties in here. So um, I say that still with my daughter Fatima when I leave. Don't have no wild parties. So last night, she decided to have a wild party. And so um, I think I texted her when I had gotten on the last connecting flight. <clears throat> and she said, uh, have, you, have you landed in Savannah? And I said, no. And she said, oh, good. That gives me time to get these people out of here. She said, I'm having a wild party. And I said, prove it. And she sent me this. <laughs> I showed it to the man on the seat next to me, in the seat next to me. I laughed so hard. I laughed when I got out of the car, and I laughed when I got when I got out of the plane, and I laughed when I got to my car, and I laughed as I drove all the way home. And it gave me that boost of laughter that I needed last night to get through that last leg of energy to just get back here. When I got in the house, I was taking my luggage back to my room. I stopped and looked at the front carpet. And one of the dogs had gotten sick there. I said, Fatima, you did have a wild party. He said, when did that happen? She was like, it must have been Christopher Walken. <laughs> Here's the thing. <laughs> Here's the thing, growing up we didn't have much of anything, but we had the ability to laugh. My quick wit, my laughter, my ability to make people find the joy that's in their own heart comes from my mother, and it was steeped in that poverty. She got it from her grandparents who could tell great stories and could laugh through all kinds of pain. My great-great-grandfather was an abolitionist, and they saw some horrors, and still there was laughter. That's the power of us, that in the midst of this, there is this generational joy. And sometimes I remember the generational pain, but I also know that there is generational joy. Today, I want you to think of those moments that you have that have been passed down from one generation to the, to the next that bring moments of joy, laughter, of love, of recall. <laughs> I heard something last night fall and I thought, Christopher Walken, you better get up out of my closet. <laughs> I love you.